All right, what's up guys? I'm really excited for this video and I know all of you guys are too because this is my 10th day of posting daily in a row. So make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so we can get right into the video. All right, let's go. In this video, I will be counting down my top 10 most favoritest YouTube movie reviewers of all time. I can't believe I've got eight. All right, so starting at number 10, I put Red Letter Media. I mean, these guys are okay, but Truthfully, I don't really know that many YouTube movie reviewers, so I kind of felt like I have to put them on here, like I'm stuck doing so. Uh, honestly, I, I honestly don't like them at all. I find them boring as fuck, and they hate everything, which is a huge bummer to me because honestly, I love every movie that comes out with an automaton-like, almost b a blind fanboy-like mentality. And the fact that these guys don't love everything kind of pisses me off. Uh, and that's not cool at all, okay? I think these guys need to line up. They're like these fat, overweight, 40-year-olds who aren't funny at all. I don't even understand what they're saying at the time. They always review boring-ass movies, and they do, like, these these weird, uh, like, retro movie reviews. I mean, they just suck, okay? So, don't even watch them. Fuck Red Letter Media. They fucking hate everything. They didn't like the new Star Wars that much. Uh, they hated Rogue One, which is my favorite movie. Look, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't wanna go off here, okay? I'm just gonna calm down. But they're number 10. Let's move on, okay? Stop. Everyone calm down. All right, number nine is Ralph, the movie maker. Again, I don't like this guy at all. He's mad all the time. He's a Marvel fanboy. He hates DC. He's slightly overweight, you know, and he kind of, actually, he kind of looks like me. Whoa, he really fucking looks like me. That's super weird, actually. I wish I could show you guys a picture of how fucking similar we look. Oh my god, that's, I need to ask my mom if I have a twin. You know what? All right, never mind, never mind. I'm moving him up to number five, okay? He's number five now, all right? He's number five. Of Star Wars, finally, the last Jedi. All right, number four is uh, John Campia. Uh, this is where we get into critics that I really love. John Campia is a genius. I mean, just look at this. Real annoying, real fast, these Porgs. You can just tell that from the trailer. Forget it, they're awesome. Porgs are awesome. I love them in this movie. <laughs> We're passionate Star Wars fans, never gonna apologize for it. You wanna be a bully? Go do it somewhere else. We don't care. Number three, of course, has to go to everyone on Collider Movies, especially uh, on Jedi Council, you know. Uh, what's his name? Christian Harloff and the other guy. I don't know. The, bo the more boring one. Uh, I love these guys, okay? I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm a fanboy for these guys. I love the fact that they love every single piece of Star Wars media and merchandise, okay? They regurgitate every positive analysis of a movie ever made. And they're huge nerds, just like me! So, I love the fact that they validate my opinions with their shallow, biased movie reviews. I love everything about them. I love how they're huge nerds. I love how they're middle-aged men fanboying over retarded fantasy movies. So, I really hope you guys check them out. It's a great channel. They're super cool, and they always give me 10% off my nerd box subscription where I can get a bunch of horrible trinkets that I never use and shove them in my closet for $12 a month. It's amazing. I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. I've always loved Dragon Ball Z. I grew up loving this character. I love the comics. I grew up with this film. This was my I grew up playing the Laura Croft games, and I myself grew up reading. Guys, I grew up with King Kong. Because that's how I grew up watching this film. Now, if you grew up in the 90s at all. My friends, however, growing up, loved Ratchet and Clank as a kid, and I've grown up continuing to love scary films. I grew up with the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show. I grew up with every single special that was ever made. Grew up, 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 Of course, Chris Duckman, you all expected him to be on here. One of the best. He's almost the best, but not quite. There's one guy who's slightly better than him. I'm sure you guys all know who it is, all right? If you've seen the thumbnail, so there's no actually no point of you watching this video anyway because you already know who number one is, but let's talk about number two for a second, okay? So Chris Tuckman, totally not pretentious at all. His analysis is so good, he definitely has an IQ on the caliber of anyone who watches Rick and Morty. He is a fucking genius. Have you seen his screenplay for Batman v Superman? His edited screenplay? Amazing. Uh, 
uh, tell that to, to Zod's snap neck, bro. Beautiful. Awesome. Understands how dialogue works. Uh, hilarious guy, too. I love the fact... Also, I love the fact that he grew up with every movie that I grew up with. Because that's super relatable. And I love that. I love every movie he loves, okay? And he loves everything he grew up with. It's not like he's blinded by nostalgia in every single one of his fucking reviews that he starts off with. Guys, I grew up with this movie. Guys, I grew up with this movie. I love when he says that. Because it tells me that he's totally not going to give us a biased review of the movie. He's awesome. And his hilariosity, 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 man, I don't know how to fucking say this. Fuck it. Those reviews are hilarious and he's a hilarious guy. Totally not a boring nerd with a gigantic ego who cries like a bitch when people make fun of him. Also, honestly, the only reason he's on here, like honestly, like I'm, I'm being truthful right now, the only reason he's this high is because of his fashion sense. This guy knows how to dress. I'm so jealous of all the cool t-shirts he wears in his videos. Go check him out. How did we get here? Like, that's a question, right? I'm gonna, I mean, you guys certainly deserve a thank you video. Finally, number one, the one we've all been waiting for is, of course, the one and only Jeremy Jans. Johns. Jimmy Johns. <laughs> the incredible Jimmy Johns, the best movie reviewer alive. Jeremy Jimmy Johns. Fuck, now I want a sandwich. Anyway, he's my favorite YouTube movie reviewer because he makes extremely shallow, unanalytic movie reviews that are so dumb that even a generic low IQ frat boy can understand. And I love that. When I watch a movie review, I don't want to. I don't want to know if the movie is good or not. If the cinematography is good, if the dialogue is good, if the script is good, if the pacing is good. I just want to know if there's cool shit that blows up and what's badass, what's not badass. Lightsabers, Jedi, starfighters. It's amazing. He he really dumbs down these reviews. And I, I'm actually a really dumb guy. I'm a 57-year-old man. I live in my mom's basement. I dropped out of second grade. I, I can't even read or write. There is no script for this video. I cannot type. I don't know how to type. I don't know how to read. I barely know English. So the fact that he, he really makes simple movie reviews for the, for the common man, really cool. And I, also, I love his toy collection. His toy collection is amazing. Uh, that's pretty much it for the video, everyone. Uh, make sure to check out the top four on this list, but be careful because they, they may be too smart for your feeble little brains to understand uh, the complexity of their reviews and analysis.